This is Eagle Al, and today we will be going over the unofficial depth chart training camp day 10, our shortest practice. Only went 55 minutes. Yes, Kenneth Gainwell is RB1, but let's get straight. It's Malcolm Jenkins over here at Novacare on a nice cloudy camp day. Having fun. Go, birds. All right, so what did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Kenneth Gainwell is RB1, according to the depth chart, and we will go over it. I told people, even right here, this tweet, Jeff Kerr, a lot of these people is agreeing with me. Kenneth Gainwell is RB1. And I told people, I told people, I told people, I'm like, DeAndre Swift is the better catch out the backfield. Give him that. But if you ask me who's the better running back, running the ball, it has all the attributes of being the running back. Because Kenny Gainwell, don't sleep on him catching a ball out the backfield. I said Kenny Gainwell is better than DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift carries are going a little bit lower with the first team. And Kenny Gainwell is getting up there. So um, I will talk about the running back competition probably tomorrow morning. You know, I'll give you all a morning video. So I might talk about it a little bit more in depth, but I told y'all don't sleep on Kenny G. Don't sleep on him. All right. So like I said, I'm going to go over the unofficial depth chart and here it is. The All right. As you see, AJ Brown will start uh, Jordan Malata, left tackle starting, left guard Landon Dickerson, Jason Kelsey, center, of course, Cam Jurgens, uh, Lane Johnson. We got. Dallas Goddard, of course. Uh, ironically, they got Dan Arnold starring beside him as the number two. Uh, Quez Watkins, Slot, Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts. Mind you, this is unofficial. So this is what the communications Eagles team came out with. Who's going to start uh, going into the preseason. So it can change up. Okay. But this is who they got. Uh, let me move it around a little bit. Brandon Graham, defensive end, uh, Fletcher Cox, Jordan Davis, Josh Sweat. You know, Hassan Reddick is right there. Uh, you got Nicobe Dean, Kristen Ellis, and Nicholas Murrow. Like, it's a divide between them because they might switch them out in and out. So they really don't know who's going to play beside N'Kobe Dean, but N'Kobe Dean is the starter so far, right? James Bradbury, Darius Slay, Avante Maddox, Reed Blankenship, look like Kayvon Wallace and Terrell Edmonds is battling out for that other safety position beside Reed Blankenship. Okay. We got Sipples and then you got Ty Zinner backing him up. So, so far Sipples is winning the battle which says a lot about Ty Zintner right now. Uh, we already know the long snapper who've been with us for years. Brent Covey is the punt returner, and Boston Scott is the kick returner. Not mad at the depth charts. Not really mad at the depth chart right now. Right, so this is unofficial. This is the unofficial depth chart. And told y'all again Kenny Gainwell and I believe I actually skipped his name on there but Kenny Gainwell is RB1 and uh, I'm not surprised I'm not surprised right now that running back position is definitely the biggest battle I'm anticipating that I love so far the safety position eh, that linebacker position is definitely getting tough for sure but that running back position between Kenny G Penny and Swift it's getting deep, but I always have faith in my guy, Kenny G. And like I said to y'all, Kenny G is the better running back. And I was called crazy, crazy. Told y'all, told y'all. All right, so let's go over the camp notes for the day. Got the camp notes right beside me. You know, I mean, let the highlights play as I talk about the camp notes. Okay, so Devontae Smith. Is back. It's definitely back. All right. At the supporting his friend, Nicobe Dean is also back as well. Salute to Nicobe Dean. He will look like play the preseason game. Also, uh, Joseph Nagata 
got first team reps with the seven on sevens. So Joseph Nagata hearing his name again. Jalen Carter took some first team reps in the team drills. That's good to hear. Uh, he got a pass deflection on Jalen Hurts. While facing pressure, Jalen Hurts was able to dart over the middle to Dallas Goddard. Goddard made another big play catch on the team drills. Ellis draped all over him, but Dallas Goddard is that dog. Ellis was frustrated after the play. Come on, Ellis. That's Dallas Goddard. All right. Hurts. Hurts and Brown been automatic all camp. Hurts found Brown down the sideline. Showed the grab. Uh, Hurts. Also found Zacchaeus down the sideline who made a great grab before going out of bounds. It was a big throw by Jalen Hurts. Uh, Brandon Graham showing he still got it at his age, beating Tyler Steen quickly off the edge, forcing Marcus Mariota to dump dump it off to DeAndre Swift. Let's see DeAndre Swift still with the second team. Uh, Josh Joe started practice with the uh pass breakup and team drills josh joe has solidified himself as that backup corner it was a very short practice today as stated um yeah it was a short practice and for the people that care we got the Elliot short part stats on jalen hurts so jalen hurts was six of ten one touchdown zero picks a light day for the first team offense hurts took about 10 reps uh, his lowest of all camp uh, had a few nice throws. Went to Dallas Goddard, tight windows. He did his thing um, while targeting Dallas Goddard. You know him and AJ Brown been automatic as well, but he did miss an easy one to Joseph Nagata. Uh, probably would have had three TDs today, but it was one. Thing one was batted out of AJ Brown hand and a missed throw to Joseph Nagata. Um, still to me when I read this, still probably a good day. But Elliot Short Parts gave him a C for the day. Don't really agree with it, but it is what it is. It definitely is what it is. That's uh his greatest system. You no, know, the game is Saturday. Like I said, I will give y'all a video tomorrow morning regarding the running back position. My thoughts, just my thoughts at camp. The game is Saturday. The game is Saturday. And I can't wait. I can't wait not just to see the starters, but let's see what our backups got. Baltimore Ravens are preseason champs. I'm going to call them that. Baltimore Ravens are very hard to beat during the preseason because they got really good depth. Like Tyler Huntley, the quarterback that they got, he probably could start for a couple teams. And for some reason, man, like I said, those backups, even on defense, offense, they have really good backups. And it's really going to test our depth. Do we really have it? Or a guy or a guy like me is really just hyping these dudes up. We will see. I want to see what Joseph Nagata got. Want to see what like the Eli Ricks got of the world. The Makai Gardners. I want to see what Josh Job do. Uh, Kristen Ellis. I want to see a little bit of Nicole Dean. I do want to see the running backs. I want to see what Penny got. I want to see what Boston got. I want to see what Sermon got. Kenny G. I want to see all of them play. DeAndre Swift. I want to see if he's really as exciting as people say. We will see. But I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, not only the first preseason game, but the regular season game. You know how it go. Right after the first preseason game, it's like, okay, now we want to see some football. So when they get to that third preseason game, I feel like it's just dragging. Like, when are we going to play the Patriots? When are we going to play the Patriots? Can't wait for it. But that's my thoughts of camp today. I just can't wait for Saturday. I can't wait to see these guys that they've been tweeting about. Again, like the Joseph Nagatas of the world. Even Keely Ringo. I forgot Keely Ringo. Oh, Sidney Brown. It's, I just can't wait to see these guys play some live action football. I'm really, really thinking about streaming it. Uh, I'm this close to say, you know what? I'm just go ahead and stream it. But hey, man, what do you think? And how do you feel about camp today? Video might be short. I'm not sure. I had to make a couple edits. You see, like this thing. Uh, it's stuff I'm trying new, and I was fumbling a lot this whole video but i'm gonna make my cuts make it sound good but this is eagle owl man
I'm up.